Hi everyone. Um, I want to do a quick video about uh, for it's really for adults and young adults, really, maybe high school kids, potentially junior high kids. But um, as silly as this may sound, I have been subject to adult pressure, um, similar to negative peer pressure. Okay. So, um, I have a, a quick list of ways we, adults, um, I guess teenagers as well, but also kids, uh, can uh, pressure others. And um, I think it's important to note that um, um, peer pressure can be positive. So, on one hand, we can put uh, we can lift others up, and um, on the other hand, we can put others down. So if we tease, we name call, laugh at them, uh, make them feel left out. That's you know, adults. When you do that, mm. um, another peer pressure technique, I guess, um, would be um, on the positive side. Um, bolstering someone's um, um, efforts so like you can do it and um, you know I believe in you versus threatening somebody so saying um, that if you don't do it I'm I'm gonna hurt you or I'm not gonna um, do this or that, you know. Ugh. Um, here's another one. I don't, I really can't think of the, I can't think of the opposite of this one, but, uh, blackmailing. Blackmailing is pretty much like, I'll bust you, I'll hurt your reputation, I will tell somebody that you don't want to know something. Um, if you do not do something for me. And that is just ugh, so ugly. Um, probably the best antidote or remedy to blackmailing is just to confess or, you know, make sure whoever you are super fearful of finding you out just knows just fess up so honesty is the best policy um bribing i'll give you something if you do this for me being upset meaning pretending to have hurt feelings cry uh, pretending to feel sad or maybe even having an adult tantrum it's nauseating um here's one that i come across buttering up people giving compliments for the sole purpose of manipulation. So giving a compliment to try to make you feel good so that I can get something from you because of it. Ugh. It's terrible. Now, on the other hand, I think it's wonderful and it's so fun to butter people up and to give compliments. Actually, I have a friend, a girlfriend who... One time we went to the downtown, we have a little town here, Sylvania Art uh, downtown, and we, we just made a point to bolster and like butter up and compliment every artist because, and we had so much fun doing it. But there was, there was no, I mean, the only agenda was for us to have fun together and to just really see if we could like, you know, encourage starving artists, if you will. So that she's so cool that was super fun okay and then um another one is pouting or looking sad so i think all of us know somebody or people that um are actresses or actors and they you know try to look sad to make you feel guilty or feel bad for them or what was me whatever um, begging and pleading. This may be more, I don't know, I guess it could be for adults. That sounds, to me, that seems much more 
mm, elementary, junior high level, but I could be I could be mistaken. Um, I do think that if you're in a tough marriage situation and you you just don't have the right tools, I mean, I can think of times when I just oh, would plead or beg because I could never figure out uh, how to get what I needed or wanted from the relationship. So definitely a maturity thing on my part. So um, yeah, uh, buddy, buddy, like BFF, I, I, I don't know. An example that comes to mind here is like um, a mom or a dad who's just trying to get people to help out with you know, school stuff, sports stuff, you know, and they're disingenuous. So they, you know, act as if they're a friend of yours, but they really just want you to do what they're asking and, and they're two-faced. So um, those, those things absolutely are unhealthy. And so uh, it goes without saying almost, but it's a good, good list. Um, I'm just going to encourage you if you're struggling with any of these things to really in the negative sense flip it on its head if you can see if you can turn it around and be positive if communication is just failing and it's not working now I'd encourage you to get uh, maybe professional help a uh, counselor there's no shame in the game of getting a counselor to help you navigate help you to communicate better, help you become a better person. No shame in that game, folks. And then, um, yeah, it's just really important to take care of yourself. So uh, if you're in a relationship and you're realizing it is just not working, no matter what, you try another way, you try gently, You you realize you've stopped communicating. You realize that nothing you do is going to change the other person, which is very insightful, by the way. But if it's somebody that you love and, and there's, or somebody that you should love you, like if you're married to that person and counseling doesn't work, um, pressing on and really staying and, and not uh, healing and figuring out the life skills to compromise, communicate, and hopefully come around to a place of intimacy and love. Um, I do not believe that that is how we are mm, supposed to live our lives. And so uh, if you are in a place like that and you would like to get some um, coaching, consulting, and uh, learn some skills uh, to try to help you figure out how to best live your best life and navigate your situation so that you're feeling healthy and well, uh, register, sign up, sign up for uh, Thor Wellness Group Consulting or Coaching and um, we can talk or one of our other uh, professionals can talk. So um, that's about it. I'm wrapping it up. I hope you have a wonderful day today and thanks for joining and thanks for sticking around to the end. Totally appreciate it. Have a great day. Thanks. Bye.